Thank you, Thomas. Jeffrey? That you admired Lizzie for finding a way to sneak out of the house tonight. Mm. Do you condone that? Do you approve of Lizzie sneaking out to find Olivia? I don't approve of many things the members of this family do. Is it but possible that you could ever give anybody a straight answer? Doctor, we are aware that Elizabeth has some issues that she needs to address. But I think this particular one has been totally blown out of proportion. Way out. Is that the way you see it? Not at all. Lizzie, come here. Come here. You, you know that Olivia and I may end up getting married, right? You know that. Yeah. But even if we don't, we are having a child together. <sighs> really? What I'm trying to tell you, and I want you to understand this, is that I love you, and that will never change. But this new child needs and deserves to have my love, too. Just like you, and Zach, and James. And she is going to have it. I know that, Daddy. You know, I want you to love her. I really do. She's an innocent little baby. And I, wa I want to love her, too, but... This has just been so rough for me. And I know I can change. I really do. Daddy, I do. But I need help. Daddy, please help me. Help me love her. Please, Daddy. Do you believe that Lizzie is sincere? so well. Beth, what is it? Jeffrey's with Olivia. Olivia? She found something in the baby's crib. A doll's head. What? Yes, it was the head of a doll torn off its body and made to look very grotesque. Someone put it there on purpose sometime tonight. I didn't do this, Daddy. Don't you dare blame this on me. Oh, come on, Grandpa. A doll's head? Could anything be more obvious? They're just doing this to try to turn you against me. Who? Lizzie, who? Olivia could have done it herself. Or your new boyfriend, Mom, the creepy DA. Elizabeth, enough! This is all your fault! You have turned my entire family against me! No, we're not your enemies, Lizzie. People in this room are your best friends. Oh, Lizzie. shut up! I hate you! It wasn't you who put that doll's head in the crib. <laughs> no, Mommy, I swear. Okay, and let's just, just go check to make sure. What are you doing? I'm going to check to see if I can find a headless doll. No, Mommy, please don't. Just stay here, please. Lizzie, don't go. Stop. stop. Mommy, please! Stop manipulating! Daddy, please. Daddy. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Daddy, please don't send me away, please. I'm telling you, I can change, please. I'll stay here for as long as you want. I'll stay here forever if I have to. Don't send me away somewhere else. <laughs> Lizzie. Lizzie. I know I was bad, Dr. Langham, but I can change. I'm already getting better because I know it's bad. Right. This isn't about being good or bad, Lizzie. This is not about punishment. I'm wrong again, aren't I? You know, you're supposed to help me. You're supposed to make me better, but you're stupid and worthless. Worse than me. Oh, you're stupid and worthless. I hate you! <laughs>